Fargo again. Um, having some pain in my shoulder and neck. And I went to the ER and they said um, that there was no more signs of infection than there was before. Um, but I need to go to Fargo, back to where I did it, to get it all checked out. Make sure it didn't go in. I had the um, dressing changed today, so I was a little concerned about that. But because of the pain, we're off to Fargo, and it's now 1 o'clock in the morning, so it'll be a fun night. They let us drive this time, though, so we're loading up the car. Deb and Cole and I. And headed back to Fargo. Hopefully... It's either nothing or it's something that they can deal with because I'm so over feeling this way. I'm so sick of being sick. Over it. Hi, good afternoon everybody. We are back in Fargo. Yay. Lovely. So, McKenna had to come back. We actually drove down really early this morning. And, um, yeah, we made it here at four this morning. Yeah, we made it here, made it here at four in, at four in the morning, so, and I've been here since then. And we are in the process of figuring out whether she's going to stay here in the hospital, and and with that get her pick line taken out so they can do IVs here, or if she's going to keep the pick line in and go and stay with her aunt Amanda. So we. Again, we, as of yet, don't know what that's going to be. And but whatever the case, Mom and I are going back to Devil's Lake some, at some point today after we figure out what's going on. So. What is going on? Why are we here? Because I have a blood clot. Yeah, McKenna has a blood clot in the arm where her pick line is. That's... Because I don't have enough problems this week. <laughs> So I made it a whole week out of the hospital. A whole darn week. A whole week. Yeah. So. At uh, least I have a wonderful husband who brushed my hair and made me feel <laughs> a little bit better. <laughs> She's got really pretty hair. <laughs> and I will. Reese, I will keep. Hold, I will keep my mom's dignity and not show her sleeping on the recliner in front of me right now. But, yeah, she drove she drove us all the way down this morning, so she's really tired. In fact, we, we're all really tired, but yeah. Anyway, we're, we're, we're hoping to get this whole blood clot thing sorted out really soon. And then as soon as McKenna's done with her antibiotic treatment, she's going to be done with the whole thing. Like, they'll either stop doing IVs or take the pick line out and not put it back in so we'll see we'll see how it goes and there's a chance that she might be back on those shots that she was on while she was pregnant to those um, anticoagulants what are they called Lovenox. Lovenox that's it those Lovenox shots <coughs> so yeah to everybody out there watching there's our little Here's our little update. We'll probably we'll keep you guys informed, and I'll probably be filming some other video here at some point. So stay tuned. Hello. It is officially quarter to six in the evening. Um, I have been here quite a while. Um, so they found I had a blood clot, like Cole said. And it took us quite a while to get things sorted out and um, talk to all the doctors. I have a hematologist, a hospitalist, which is just like the regular doctor, <clears throat> um, an infectious disease, and um, internal radiology. Um, so I got a full team of people and that's wonderful, but it does mean that when you're here, you have to go through all those people to kind of figure out your plan. And so that's been what's been going on. And my bed won't go up. That's weird. 
Um, and so we finally, after all day, in the, in the beginning of the day, it was like they said, oh, well, we'll just send you home on oral um, blood thinners or Lovenox, and um, you'll be fine. Like, not you'll be fine, but, like, we'll monitor you, and you can go home. And I said, uh, no way, Jose. Because they wanted to pull my pick line. And that's the great debate of the day, because I, I, w I was totally against it. No. No pulling the pick line. <laughs> um, because I don't have a port anymore, and if they pull a pick line... How am I going to do IV antibiotics? Can you tell me that? Like, you're telling me that the girl who can't have a peripheral for more than a day is going <clears> to <throat> go home and do IV antibiotics without something like a pick and not have a problem? Like, I, I don't, no, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So, <clears throat> um, my pick nurse who came in to do my dressing change. Like, I talked to her about all my concerns, and she was really nice. She said, hey, I totally get it. I understand. So let me email the doctor and um, see, you know, if he agrees or see what he's thinking. And so she left to go email the doctor um, and kind of let him know what I was thinking, um, and hoping that he would either leave the pick line or let me stay. I don't know. The doctor emailed <clears throat> the pick nurse back and um, agreed that if I was going to stay on the antibiotics, I needed to stay here. Um, so, I'm not going to my aunt's. I'm staying. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm staying here until Thursday. Hello. Hello. I got a sorry, that was the nurse. Um, They came in and they put these lovely seizure precaution um, pads on my bed, which I hate. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, uh, I'm here until Thursday, because they said they were going to pull the pick out, and I was not having it, and I was not going to go home and do another five, five more days of this IV antibiotic. So, I'm here for the week, and, um... We'll see what unfolds, I guess. The good news is my infection isn't spreading. Um, now we just need to just treat this blood thinner. Or this blood clot with blood thinner. Um, and finish off these antibiotics. So here's to a probably boring <laughs> week here.